Hey, what's up guys? Have you ever seen one of these before? <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> so you're supposed to like flip it up in the air where there's the ball. And you're like, huh. Well, I almost killed my keyboard and got me in the face. Ooh. <laughs> so they didn't come to watch do that, Dubal. They came to learn about taxes. Huh. Huh. I almost got it. You can't give up. Learn about taxes. Ah, I got it. There we go. So learn some questions there. We got about taxes, which is pretty awesome. Here we go. Okay, so taxes, here we go. So this is a quiz we're gonna be working on. We're gonna give you some helpful hints there. I'm gonna teach you a little bit about FICA, Federal Insurance Contributions Act. So I'm not as mad at it anymore as I used to be because <laughs> it takes so much out of your, your wage, out of your salary, right? Like how much do they take? Well, just 6.2% plus another 1.45% Ooh, for Medicare and Social Security. That's like 7.65. That's like almost 8%. That's nearly tithing. That's nearly 10% of your, that's nearly like a tithe of your income for Social Security. Well, what does it even do? How does it even help people? So your employer matches these percentages for a total of 15.3%. That is so much money. And I'm estimated 171 million workers are covered under Social Security. So it's a paycheck you get from the government, kind of like retirement from the government. Oh, but we're, we're not a socialist country. Uh, yeah, but we all put in and then we all take out. So I don't know. Well, it is called Social Security. We're a capitalist country in some form or another. It helps provide benefits for retirees and disabled people and children. I think that's good, right? That's, of course that's good. So think about FICA like this. The money you pay in taxes and not held in a personal account for you to use when you get benefits is not held in a personal account for you to use when you get benefits. Today's workers help pay for current retirees. So you guys are gonna pay for me when I'm old. Hopefully, please work. <laughs> Any unused money goes to Social Security trust funds to help secure today and tomorrow for you and your family. So here is a picture of my current amount they're withholding. So much money. So state and federal, if that's not enough. Oh my goodness. And then there's FICA, 369.24, out of my paycheck. That that's, doesn't seem like a lot, but it definitely adds up, right? And think about what you could do with 370 bucks. Oh, but it's for your future and it's helping those that are already retired or need money. Cool. Okay, so let's jump over to the quiz back here. So when you earn money, you pay Federal Insurance Contributions Act, FICA. What tax is this? So this is basically Social Security. In addition to Social Security tax, what other payroll, wow, that gives it away. In addition, what other payroll tax is regularly withheld from the federal government? Well, the state taxes, and Medicare tax, and sales tax, and inheritance tax, all of them. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, no. So withheld from the federal government. So it's not state tax, no, no, no. Medicare, yeah. State tax, sales, and a sales tax, yeah, inheritance tax, oh, yeah, this is a tough one. It does say regularly. So if we look at my, my wage here, I guess you could say, so the Medicare is up there with FICA, right? As well as federal. So we're gonna go with uh, Medicare, Medicare, which helps people that can't afford insurance, that are old and retired, or that can't afford it, or don't have a job. Um, so which item below does federal income tax not pay for? Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I think you'll figure out that one. Net pay is, what's net pay? Have you heard of gross versus net? So I'll let you do some research on that one. Which tax provides medical benefits for people 65 and older? We just talked about that one. Employers use which form to compute the amount of federal income tax to withhold on your paycheck? Interesting. So you gotta be careful on this one, right? Be careful on this one. So for your, so the amount of federal tax to be withheld. So I'm gonna go with W-4, but now I'm doubting myself. What's W-2 again? It's been a while since I did a W-2 form. W-2 form, 
Question mark. So wage and tax statement, including research related forms, W-2 for employers. So employers have to fill this one out. And everybody needs to fill this one out. Let's see, employers are required to fill out wages to pay to share income, social security, and Medicare taxes withheld. So technically it is W-2, I believe, isn't it? W-4 is in a way, but it's your dependents, right? It's your dependents, basically. Here's an example of a W-2 form. Yeah, interesting. So that's when you're paying your taxes, basically. Um, so your total income when you're doing your taxes. Um, so let's go backwards a little bit there. Oh, so um, let's actually make sure we get this right, because that would stink if we didn't, huh? So which form? Oh, employers use which form to compute your amount? The amount of federal income tax to withhold from your check. Um, that's a really good question. I'm still like, you get the W-2 from your employer, but I think they use the W-4 form to determine your taxes. Now I'm even confused. W-4 form. An employee's withholding allowance certificate allows your employer to know how much money to withhold. Always say zero. Just get them to take it all out. Always say zero. So I'm glad you're watching this video because that was a tricky one, right? Is your, if your standard deduction is higher than your itemized deduction, how will the standard deduction affect the taxes you pay? Um, it hopefully makes it go down, right? Depends on whether you're male or female. No, it does not affect. No, it makes it go down. So standard deduction versus itemized. I used to itemize till we got a new president. And it was during the era of President Trump that he had us not really... You can try to itemize, but it's nearly impossible now because the standard is so... The standard is so high, it's like $25,000. Before it was only 12000 and then I would use like all my um, all my donations to my church to like do a tax write-off to lower my taxes. And now that's only like twenty thousand, so I'm not going to make it up to twenty-five. So I might as well use a standard deduction. <sighs> so that means I have to pay more taxes. That's really stunk, and that's made me sad and cry. And sometimes I owe at the end of the year, like last year. Which of the following is not an IRS filing status? Married, filing single. What? Married filing jointly, married filing separately, single, yeah, that's weird. Married filing single is wrong, so I mean it's right, but it's not. <laughs> it's not an IRS filing status. That's, yeah. Okay, some people itemize deduction instead of standard deduction. What well, must be true for itemized deduction to lower your taxes? Well, it's got to be higher. It's got to be higher than standard deduction, basically. Why might you want to file a federal tax return even if you don't owe taxes? Because they wouldn't let me back in the country with my wife. What? Yeah, I went to England and I didn't, fi I didn't file taxes for two years because I was on a mission for the church, for a church. And uh, so basically they're like, you got to go over and file your taxes. We ain't going to let you through. What? So that's one reason. What's another reason why you might file your federal taxes even if you don't owe? To start your social security record. Yeah. You get a, to get a refund if taxes were withheld. Yeah. Even if you don't owe taxes. Yeah. To start your Medicare record. Sure, all the above. Now, let's see. I have a sneaky suspicion that some of these might not be right, and that's going to make me cry. Um, got it right, got it right. Oh, unanswered. That's okay. It's unanswered. We got it right. You got to, you got to answer that one. You got to answer that one, too. Okay, all the ones we did, we got it right. That's good. That's good. You just got four other ones you got to try on your own. Okay? But I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. Don't give up, member. <laughs> I already lost it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Believe in you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.